Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dusk and Fire Emblem Heroes just dropped a brand new Heroes banner. I'm not really sure who's in it. I'm hoping we get Engage or maybe uh, some of the second gen units from Fates. Um, I can't even think. <laughs> I can't even think of what we got now, but you know what? Let's 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 get into it. Okay. What do we got? New heroes join the battle. Put the desktop level lower. Okay. Rising power. Oh, Diamond. If you're trying to gauge me for weakness, try harder. Whoa. Okay. What does Diamond got going on? Whoa. Uh, he's only got. He's got more. Oh, okay, they got me in the first half. Okay. I'm liking the stat boosts up top. Does he got a cool special? Let's see what he says. No less than victory. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, you not is Yunaka gonna be in this? No way. Oh, we might get Lapis. The castle here would make a wonderful venue for a ball. Okay. Okay. A little tome of luxuries. Alright. Rearmed? What? I. If it wasn't Diamond, it. All oh, Chris? Yo, okay, hold up. Rearmed. Oh! Oh my god, I love All Chris. <laughs> Arcane Dark Bow. You can make a follow up attack before the fourth counter attack. Get behind. He has his own skill. 202? Huh? Oh, she was from the Tempest Trials. Okay. Everything is strange. Eter. Eter? Eter? Arcane Elody. Oh, so we're getting an arcane for beasts. Okay. Whoa. Okay. She goes again? Whoa, she hold back. Whatever makes Brodia proud. Okay. Who's uh who's our um grand hero battle? Oh, we fight Gilveg. Male Alir? Male Alir Okay, okay, just go, 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 go. All oh, Chris may or may not appear next. Oh, lapis! Cut you down to size. Dude, that sword is huge. Yo, okay. <laughs> I might have to pull for Diamant. Hold on. Let's... All right, guys. So, okay, this is kind of crazy. So let's let's backtrack for a second. Let's look at everything. Cause uh, okay, so we got engage. This is actually really cool. Let's uh, let's see here. We'll turn off the audio and we'll kind of go bit by bit real quick. So here we go. We got Diamant, uh, rising power. I'm I'm liking his art. He he's looking really nice. Really cool. Black and red. Oh, man. That is really good. Um, okay, let's stop right there. Cool. All right, let's look at this. Fair Flight, Fair Flight Blade. Um, attack speed, defense, res plus 5 to unit. Deals damage 25% of units defense. Oh, so he's going to be a tanky, tanky defense boy. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, reduces damage by X effect of specials. What is the max that we can go to? And increase the speed difference is necessary. Hmm? Uh, attack by 20, but can, speed must be over or at least 25 to make it for a follow-up attack. Start of combat, if units is above or even to 25%, unit initiates combat. Uh, you get special cooldown minus one. Okay, nice. Good to know we also have the special trigger acceleration. Uh, on unit, if unit deals damage on a foe, he gets restores 10 HP, which I think also goes to his um, which call it? Uh, it, it references soul, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have bonfire, which increases boost damage based off his defense, attack defense finish four. So, so what I'm getting from this is Diamond's gonna be the defense guy. This is this is gonna be big. Um, honestly, I would be very curious to see if you compare it with the um. 
there's a four or there's that one uh not sparrow skill but where it is attack defense and you can heal off of that that would be a very interesting combo so that way you're healing off 20 hp then pr bring in the uh what is it the bulwark here let's bring it out it says attack speed bulwark but honestly if you get attacks defense you can really maximize that defense that a diamond has got going on oh it's seven hp my bad so that way you go ahead and you make a good 17 extra hp so diamond isn't dying anytime soon realistically speaking um all right let's move on just a little bit more diamond's looking cool as always awesome i'm loving it <laughs> um we have okay carry noble you know very cool very cool very cool we have citrine so we so far we're getting a lot of infantry units i'm glad they're not making them like you know flyers or you know i'm glad that we're kind of just sticking to the whole infantry type of thing which i mean that's how they came in the game so i'm appreciating that um let's see what she's got going on home of luxuries all right so again another special cooldown minus one accelerate special trigger at the start of turn one uh wait what at the start of turn one grand special cooldown minus two to unit oh wow okay um if unit initiates combat or if unit's hp is above or equal to 25 percent uh grants if unit initiates combat unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack okay is she fast though i'm not <laughs> i'm kind of not really getting that part after any turn of the skill triggers uh, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, grants any bonus effects, so unit can move one extra space? Whoa, okay, Pathfinder to allies. Wait, what? Okay, that's... She's an interesting one. So we have uh, Iceberg, so clearly she's going to have like a butt ton of reds. That, that's what I'm getting out of that. Um, what the heck? If unit's HP is a greater, you know, somewhat equal to 25%, grants attack speed, defense, res plus 5 to unit during combat. Deals 15% of units res. Okay, so yeah, she is the res character. So if Diamond is defense, she is res. I'm curious if we're going to get defense or uh, attack and speed for the other two. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got... Okay, you know, hey, Citrine's doing her thing. I appreciate that. It's cool. Uh, Rearmed hero, all Chris. Dude, I'm loving the art for all Chris. He is really, really cool. Let's read this one. All right, so we have Arcane Dark Bow. Wait, all Chris is infantry cool. Um, accelerate spe special trigger by one. You know, the usual. We've already been getting it so far. Uh, effective against flying foes. Nothing new here at the start of combat. If unit's HP is uh, greater or equal to uh, 25%, gains attack speed plus six to unit. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> unit neutralizes unit's penalties and neutralizes effects that prevents unit's follow-up attacks during combat. That is a very good one. And also, if unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before the foe can counterattack. Dude, I am putting this on my Summer Noir. That is a really good bow. That is a really good bow. Okay, Flash Spare. What is this? If unit initiates combat, grants attack plus seven to unit during combat. Oh, okay, so this is a new Sparrow Flash. Okay. If unit speed is greater than the foe speed, uh, so, you know, by five, grant special cooldown charge plus one. Whoa, if unit, and it's a sparrow skill? Dude, all you have to do, okay, all you have to do is go, <laughs> all you have to do is, um, get phantom speed, right? Put that as your, uh, your, not, what, the S skill? Get that, and then, you know, you'll always win, right? Uh, get behind me is his exclusive skill. How do I get rid of the... Okay, sorry guys, let me double check the video. Ah, dang it. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get rid of this. Kind of doesn't do it for me. So I'm sorry if this thing's in the way. Just work with me. Uh, if the unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts speed def speed defense minus five. Okay, inflicts penalty, penalty on foe's defense and 30% on foe's defense at the start of combat. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously in reference to... Um, all Chris, you know, he's the Luna character, right? So if Diamond's soul, he's constantly healing. We have uh, All Chris here, who's our good old, you know, Luna. Defense, you know, lower. So he's really cool. Um, and, and neutralizes effects of special cooldown charge on unit. Whoa, that's cool. All right. Then we have Defense Res Smoke 3, which is very, very, very cool. Uh, so after he uh, after combat, he inflicts seven res defense. We, we've already been through this one and grants. Sorry, 
and it grants Pathfinder to unit. So it seems like all Chris is going to be getting this Pathfinder and it's also in Citrine's ability. So, OK, really cool, really cool. I'm liking it. Oops. OK, that's a little weird. This is enough. Well, let's see this. This is so cool. And then it puts a spotlight. Ah, oh, that is so cool. So, so cool. Um, OK, then we have uh, e Eater. Eater. I might have to call her Eater, honestly. Yeah, Eater, the cousin of Eater. Yeah, let's just, let's do that. Okay, so we got Eater. She is a blue beast cavalry unit. Very cool, very cool. Um, let's check out the skills. Arcane ability. Mm. Okay, this is a lot. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. So I'm wondering if Pan, if Selkie, uh, because it's arcane, right? So I'm assuming Selkie might like this. Let's let's read this real quick. Okay, special trigger, minus one. At the start of combat, units HP is greater or equal to 25%. Grants attack speed, defense threats plus five. And attack speed, defense to unit. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so she already gains a plus five across the board. And she gets plus X. And to unit. So then she gets another stack okay and inflicts attack speed res x on foe x is current bonuses on foe stats what so you're telling me you get double double stacks of buffs on you and then they get oh my god okay um and deals 15 percent of damage uh of unit speed during combat okay selkie might actually like that uh also if unit speed is greater than the foe speed again use uh phantom speed right on the s very good um uh, uh, neutralize effects that guarantees the foe's follow-up attacks and prevents units follow-up attacks during combat. At the start of turn, if unit is adjacent to only beasts or dragon allies, or is not adjacent, so okay, this is promoting if you're by yourself. Um, unit transforms. Otherwise, units reverts. I mean, yes, but now we have all the brand new skills for beasts that we got earlier in the year and last year, so that kind of makes it a little bit irrelevant. But hey. Uh, if unit transforms, gains attack plus two to unit, inflicts, uh, inflicts attack defense on foe during combat, X is the number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat. Ooh, okay, so because we have a lot of beasts that move from point A to point B at a very, or cavalry at a very high speed, uh, you see max six tiles. And also X is greater or equal to five, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%. That's really good. Honestly, this is going to be very fun. I'm curious who we're going to have, uh, if that's going to be available for all beast units or beast cavalry. I'm I'm very curious to see where this heads, because if it's only for blue, <laughs> I think we have like what Pan, Salki, uh, Eater over here. I think we have just a very limited amount of blue cavalry uh, beast units. But anyways, power of nility. Uh, if the number of allies adjacent to unit is lower than one, grant stack speed, defense, res nine. Whoa, to unit. Okay. <laughs> a little powerful. <laughs> um, only highest values of charge to stack. Also, if units deal on damage to foe using a special during combat, restores X of units. Dude, I feel, I feel like I'm back in math class every time I read these things. It's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, to unit, special cooldown value times 20, 10... So they restore HP. Okay, that makes sense. Beast sense four. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Remove the condition to transform. Very nice. Uh, inflict speed defense four on foe during combat. If a skill compares unit speed to an ally speed, uh, treats this unit speed as plus seven. Ooh, what was I saying about the phantom? <laughs> phantom speed. Okay. If unit speed is foe speed, uh, is greater than foe speed, reduce damage by forty percent. You know. Only max of 40%. Really good, actually. Honestly, I, it doesn't say that nothing else can stack. So honestly, put Phantom Speed and you got plus 17. So you'll you'll be winning all the speed conditions. Um speed defense four. Oh, that's not bad. Honestly, my Selkier Valorio would have a pretty good time with this. Okay, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Um, let's continue on. Very cool. All right. Okay, we got all Chris, Golvig. All right. Dude, that is crazy. Uh, does my little mouse show up? Hopefully. 
Male Illyria is going to be the Grand Hero Battle Unit. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That just makes me curious because, okay, he's got his preferred weapon, which great, right? If he didn't have it, I think we would all kind of <laughs> engage fans would go up in arms, right? I mean, I'd be like, what? But yeah, so he's going to be Grand Hero Battle. Um, I'm, I'm liking that. I am really liking that. You know, if you can't get familiar and you're now you... You, you maybe just like mail a little more. This this is your chance, you know. And uh, what you'll be able to get them at plus two, right? So very nice, very nice. Glad that they didn't just shoehorn him in as a five star. Um, I, I think that's really cool. I I appreciate that. Well, Loki wish they kind of did that with Byleth, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Let's keep going. Uh, you know. So what do we got here? Um, Etira, nothing and. All, uh, all Christ may or may not appear again in summoning events. They say that, right? This one. This is a fun one. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Lapis the Mighty Flower also appears as a non focused three and four star new hero. I'm hyped about that. So, you're going to catch me summoning for Lapis. Um, I'm hoping she's going to be an amazing sword unit. Uh, I know right now my greatest sword unit is. Uh, uh, Fire Festival Rinka, but <laughs> okay, having Lapis would be pretty sweet. Luna, dude, that sword is huge. Dude, <laughs> look, <laughs> look, look, look at the size of that thing. Dude, <laughs> she's like, what? If I scale it, put my hair. Well, that's like one and a half. That's a like one and a half Lapises. That takes like, that's that's crazy. Okay, so she has Luna. That's really cool. All right, well, I'll just let it play itself out. But yeah, okay, that concludes the Fire Emblem Engage banner. I'm really happy about this. What do you guys think? Did you get some of your favorite characters? Are you excited? Honestly, the next banner, I'm thinking we might just start getting some of the characters like John, uh, Yunaka. Dude, when Yunaka comes out, when Yunaka comes out, I'm telling you, I'm gonna lose my mind. But I'm excited. The one I'm probably really excited for most is uh, <laughs> the ones I'm really excited for. <laughs> Got all my random videos. Uh, the ones I'm super most excited for is where's my all Chris. Honestly, all Chris is the one I'm really interested in. Uh, et, uh, et, Eater. I'm just going to call it Eater. Uh, I'm excited for her, probably for my beast units. I haven't really used my beasts in a while, so probably all Chris. I can see myself really jumping all crest very fun and uh honestly lapis all Chris and lapis seems to be the two characters that i'm pretty excited about hey if i get hit with a diamond i mean i'll be summoning on some red right so that'd be pretty cool anyway i won't take any more of your guys' time let me know what you think have a wonderful and amazing day guys and i'll catch you in the next video peace yo what's up guys um hey quick little edit uh into this uh video um, okay, so I'm kind of freaking out. Grand Hero Battle is going to be Zephia. Dude, we're getting Zeph. Dude, we're getting Zephia. Okay, if you didn't know, Zephia is like one of my favorite characters in Engage. I love her to death. I never thought that we would see her in Fae for like another good, like a million years. So the fact that Zephia is going to be in a Grand Hero Battle and I'm going to get to see her and I can put her to plus two, which means I got to work up Grails because I'm already using it for Robin. Fem Robin, but uh... Zephyr's coming out. Zephyr's coming out as a grand hero battle. So I don't know what that means for male Alir. He might actually go ahead and be, um, whatchamacallit, uh, male Alir might be just um, rewards that you can claim for doing certain challenges. That's what it's looking like to me. Um, a grand hero battle, Zephyr. This is huge. This is great. Uh, honestly, I, I don't even think I care for the banner anymore. I know I just finished recording like what, <laughs> like two minutes ago. I just popped online and I just saw Grand Hero Battle Zephyr. So, um, I mean, I might still do some roles, right? <laughs> but Zephyr is kind of the character that I've been wanting alongside Yunaka. So, like, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a great day. And uh, I'm just so hyped Zephyr is here. Oh, my God. Hey guys, okay, one last update, I promise. I Hopefully this is it. I'm trying to edit this. Um, so we got the Engage banner. We have Zephia. I'm super excited. Mail Alir info came in, and turns out he is the login bonus. So you log in on the 18th of July, 2023, and you get the five-star Alir. 
So let's put the volume down just a little bit. This is sick. Okay, so we're getting male Alir. Um, so they're actually doing exactly what Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses did with a uh, male Byleth. This is crazy. That art is gorgeous. So we get a free five star Alir starting July 18th, right? There's Dragon Youth. Oh, my cutting of the thing might not be the best. Oh, he's so cool. I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, we get Liberation, uh, Repel, and then we get Green Feud 3. I'm sorry that you can't see it all the way. Draconic Aura. He is the Divine Dragon. So that's really cool. So you get a five star Leer, all that good stuff. They say that Veronica is also in the game. Um, yeah. So excuse me for that. <laughs> there we go. Let's just keep the five star Leer. Cool. So we're getting five star Leer. He comes out on the 18th. This is going to be huge. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm done. We're getting Zephyr. We're getting an engage banner. We're getting a Leer. We are eating good this month. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I need to get ready for Zephyr. I'll see you guys later.